put in the fridge for now. You put in the fridge for now. Yeah. I'm getting better. This is, I said, the heart chakra. This is the Mulandara, the Swasistana, the Manipura, and the Anahata, the heart chakra. It's supposed to be, when you're in the lower chakras, self-preservation. Self and others close to you, very close, family. And then, then it goes up and creative and various different parts of you open up. And the heart chakra is when you start to give unconditionally. When you love the idea of just being, love, love more the idea of being a servant. And a, and a giver and then from the heart chakra we continue to go up to the final the sahasara which is like you take care of yourself 100% because you're God's servant you have to do a good job so it's all in alignment enough of that so the diss tracks I said stuff and they're like oh, what do you know you're old fuck you know nigga be quiet we are in a time where celebrities are very, very powerful. More powerful than politicians. They can do much more than civil rights activists. They can make anything happen. They can move mountains. They can move mountains. I mean, literally, if, if Drake and Kendrick said, we want to promote a ceasefire, they can make so many kids upset. And if they went to the campuses and or whatever they choose, you know, whatever they think is necessary for the for their beloved communities. Whatever they want to do for them, they can get it done, especially together, imagine that. So, when they do their diss tracks, and Rick Rubin again used to say it was like pro wrestling. Well, not really. These guys are big. Their influence is giant. Their potential is, oh my God. And so, when they attack each other, it's disappointing because they're such powerful figures. And they're not just who they are, they're reflections of the people who love them. And the people are reflections of them in some cases because they love them. So they learn from them and they are expressing what the people are thinking and feeling. I've always said that. They express what the people, in a combative world, when they are uh, in combat, it's very sad. And if there were people who wanted to destroy our community through culture, this is the way. To have each other at each other's neck. Because they're not saying, like, this ain't wrestling. These niggas, they ain't saying uh, um, little stuff. They're saying, like, the meanest things they can come up with. They're digging deep into the dirt surrounding each other and sharing it. The feds be looking, too. Like, they see that shit, like, well, let me check into that, right? That's what they do. They're like, what? Well, let me see. So-and-so did what? Really, really? Let me check. Investigations of people and their lives are ruined. And sometimes the cases are framed and not true. Many times. And people really, but forget the celebrities, the damage. I always said celebrity damages, collateral damage. The entire collective community is not collateral damage. When every basketball player and every body comes up with a diss track, when every newscaster comes up with a diss track against the, their brother, it's not, it's not that simple. Because now we have people at each other's neck and they're teaching us to do. It's, it's a very sad situation. And I'm sorry to say it because everybody thinks it's just entertainment. But you consume things and you are what you consume. And I just, I don't remember a point in my living experience, my lifetime, where the public discussions, well, certainly we didn't have social media, so it could never have happened, but was how so-and-so is better than so-and-so. And that's all we cared about. And to the demise of so-and-so, never made, never happened. Uh, Harry Belafonte and... Uh, I just use his example, such a great example. I used to look up to him. He was my mentor, along with so many others. I mean, God, he was one of my mentors. It was, they were actors, yeah, they were just entertainers, but then they stood next to Dr. King. 
stood next to whoever, Reverend Ike. I mean, they stood next to activists and they stood up and they marched and they did the rest and they got us to march. Jay-Z, along with 50 Cent, along with Ja Rule, along with who were beefing, along with the Beastie Boys and Run DMC and LL Cool J and Public Enemy and Slick Rick and all of them came to that one rally where we got 10,000 black men out of jail. Not that long ago. And it, it was a moment for hip hop, I thought. Well, certainly for me, I, I didn't do much in my life, but I didn't, no, I didn't say that. I didn't take that back, that sounds selfish. What I mean is I didn't do that much in my life where there's anything more profound than getting 10,000 black men out of jail. Nothing happened great in that. That was done because hip hop said so. So I just wanna say that Let's not all take on, I like that Drake and Kendrick, you see that they stopped it before. And having spoken to Top Dog, he said, you know, I had to put out a few fires. I don't know if he wants me to say that, but he had to put a few fires out. Them fires could have burnt. I think Drake's house was under attack. What about them Compton niggas? We don't want that. God knows we don't want another Biggie and Tupac, but what does it say for the collective? Greater than all the rich people who don't matter to our lives in real life. They don't matter. They're just a group of people. You think they're in the Illuminati. It's so crazy because you don't have you just watch them. You learn from them, but you watch them. And they're not real. They're just images. And they're just entertainment. But you're learning from them. And our collective is hurting because of them. If they reflect your thirst for dirt. If they reflect your higher selves. And Minister Farrakhan always said that. If they reflect your higher selves, because you have both sides. And Kendrick mostly, almost always talks about uplifting, inspired things. So if they do that, it will change your life and the collective community. Every vibration matters. Every lifting, every time they lift a vibration a little bit, it matters. So right now, I can't, count the number of disses that are going on, diss tracks. I mean, people who aren't rappers are doing diss tracks, right? And it's just the combative attitude that we have as collective will keep us from going forward or changing anything about our condition. And the condition of black people is one of suffering. Make no mistake, we are not advancing. And our heroes are important to us because they help us to, they guide us in different um, directions, hopefully up. So that's it, last time I'm talking about this, I ain't saying nothing else. I feel like I've been attacked for saying certain things even, but you know what, I just, I don't mind being attacked, I've been attacked. Six years I've been attacked. But I'm happy to share when I can, and they say nobody cares what you say, well there's, 1.6 million people and some of them actually care. And when I walk the street and someone said, I read your book and it changed my life. If it's one person, it, it means something to me. So this is my, this is what I want to share with you and I, and I hope it really brings to some of us that we can try to get out of the mud. It's one by one. I can't change the whole group. I can say it's one by one. Namaste, yogis.